OK, C4, June 2005 paper. We've got question four here. And question four is uh, integration by substitution, of which they've given us the substitution to use. So let's use that as a starting point. Let's see if x is equal to sine theta. Let's look at the denominator of our integrands. We see this is 1 minus x squared. So if we write out 1 minus x squared, this is really 1 minus sine squared, if we're using our substitution. And we know from our identity cos squared plus sine squared equals 1, that this here is equal to cos squared theta. Okay, so we can replace this bottom bit not only just with 1 minus sine squared, we can replace it just with a cos squared theta all to the power 3 over 2. We've also got dx to deal with and we've got limits to deal with. So, separately, if we do dx d theta, we get differentiating x with respect to theta gives us cos theta or uh, dx is equal to cos theta d theta. So we can change the dx integration from with respect to x to respect to theta, um, but we haven't changed our limits. And to do that, we just need to work out what theta is. Now we can rearrange theta up here, which means that uh, theta can be sine minus 1 of x, and our limits are in x at the moment, 0 and a half. So our limit for x of naught, if we substitute using our calculator, comes up with a theta of naught, and our limit of a half in x, putting it into here and using our calculators, comes out in radians, that theta is pi over 6. So we have to use all of this information, and then let's use this to help us find the integration, which I've labelled i. So if we write out i, and we write the integration from 0 to pi over 6 with the limits in theta, and we get, and this is going to be a bit of a squeeze, uh, the integrand. We know on the bottom it's uh, cos squared theta, so it's a cos squared theta to the power 3 over 2. And on top we're replacing dx with uh, our expression cos theta d theta. So, let's write it again. We've got the integration running from 0 to pi over 6. Well, cos squared theta, the denominator, cos squared theta, the square root of that is just cos theta. So really, we've got, on the bottom, we've got a cos cubed theta, and we've got a cos theta on top. So that means we're actually just going to get a denominator, a cos squared theta, respect to theta. So with a little bit of effort we've managed to convert quite a difficult looking integrand into one that looks like this. Now we know that we've got 1 over cos squared theta with respect to theta. We've got to integrate this which is really well 1 over cos squared remembering all of our trigonometric identities is really just sec squared theta d theta and looking at our well we should know that the integral of sec squared and if we don't we can check from our formula sheet sec squared is really just tan theta and then between the limits naught pi over 6 so all we've got to do now is find out what? Tan of pi over 6 is, and then subtract the answer for what tan of naught is, and letting our calculator do all our work for us, we know that this is root 3 over 3. 
and we're leaving our answer like this because we want the exact value of. So we don't want to simplify this third um, using our calculators or doing the division. We don't want to leave it as a decimal, we'll leave it just as it is. And there we go, end of the question.